lovely. She's taking the children. Hmm. It's time for me to activate my plan. So she'll never work with children. Uh... So we go, you children. Now, it's impossible for you guys to break out. But no one, and anyone can get you, but no one would. They all, they all don't like you at all. Goodbye, children. <laughs> okay, she's gone. Hello. Guys, who in the world is that? I don't know. She looks creepy. Ah. Uh, no need to worry, children. I've been planning revenge on Miss Beverly for five years. You all are going to be safe. So I will let you out. No. No need to talk. All we need to do is just wait. Wait? What for what? Waiting for my plan to work, idiots. Now, let's go. Okay, now, she's about to take your kid to the cellar, but we're, I'm going to call the other matrons to watch her. So, she'll be banned from working with children for the rest of her filthy, selfish, abusive life. Okay, matrons. <sighs> Guys, the matrons are like scared to death by me. Well, I, so I can't call them. But while I'm hiding, how about you guys call her? If they just see me, they'll run away. So, plan works out. I don't take no for an answer for this question. Great. Now start. <clears throat> you little child, go to the cellar now. Matrons! Matrons! What? Matrons! Matrons! Quickly, come, come, come! <clears throat> oh, new book. <gasps> Wait. I just heard someone call us. Quickly, other matrons, come on. Miss Beverly, what is she doing at this moment? Is she taking your child to the cellar? This will end now. <sighs> Miss Beverly, come here now. What are you doing? This what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just giving this child some candy. Here you go, here you go. Oh, save it. We saw the whole thing, even that matron did. Don't lie to them, or us. You know we saw the whole thing. Actually, you didn't, but now you do know. In fact, Why don't we show you guys the girl who came up with this plan and has been planning it for five years. Warning. She will scare you to death. Friendly warning. Okay, let's get her. Come on, freaky one. I have a name, you know. Yeah, I have a name. We know that, but you haven't told it to us. So we really had no choice but to call you Freaky Girl. 
Okay, fine. I see how you guys had no choice but to call me Freaky Gal. Anyway, my name is, um, I forgot my name. What's my name again? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, my name was, um, uh, hard to explain what my name is, but I guess I shouldn't be scared to tell you guys my name. My name is Blue. Yes. Well, there you have it, mate, guys. The girl who thought of the plan and has been thinking about it for five years. Blue. Yeah. My name. That's Blue. But, you know... Anything we should do about this? Oh, yeah. So, you see, I've been planning this for five years. Because I was the only one who've known this has been happening. And the other kids did, too. But I've been knowing it ever since I got here. Beverly really is a monster. She's not a good person at all. She has been abusive to children. Ever since I could remember. And I have been tired of it. No one has noticed me. But now... And five years ago, when I thought of this plan, I knew people would know who I am. People would know how Miss Beverly has been treating all the children in this castle is she is not a good person at all. So you see, Miss Beverly has been abusive to children ever since I can remember. So I thought of this plan and I've been for five years. Really? This is how she cheats, treats children. I mean, of course. It was her fault she chose this job, wasn't it? Yeah, it was her fault. It, she doesn't like children, so why don't she just leave this place? Because this place has like 500 children or more. So maybe she should just leave this place then. If she hates children this much. I mean, sure. There's, there's probably good inside her, but she's never going to show it. I mean, she would go to prison even if she didn't get told that she had to tell us. So, yeah. Miss Beverly really is a bad person. And I've been, and I've known this longer than anybody here has. I just wish this could change, but it can't. Huh. What? What? The power's out. Guys. What? We need to find the power. Alright guys. Um we need to find the um a thing. What is it again? Esther. Yes, I know your name, Esther. I've been watching you. You are one of the most kindest people here. You help each other? You help people? You don't get scared of anything at all. Like, for example, you've been sneaking up all those times. And you wasn't scared at all of the matrons catching you. Because they did. And then they put you in the cellar. But you wasn't scared at all. 
Anyway, we need to get that power switch back on. Come on, guys. I'm not going to be the only one doing 